Hey guys, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. I am in the best mood today and let me tell you why. It's because it's summer. Um, school's out, scream and shout. It's warm outside. It's time to be by the pool every day and relax. But also, we are now only months, just a few, just a few months too, I think. Three, two or three months away from sorority recruitment. And that means it is time to start preparing all over again, I'm so excited. I'm going to be a junior at Texas Tech University and I'm a Pi Phi, ring ching. Last summer, I started to make videos giving advice about sorority recruitment. I made a ton. I made like a conversations tips, recruitment 101, outfits idea, Zoom recruitment 101, like all the things. One of the questions I always get every year about sorority recruitment is, what do I do to sign up? Or how do I sign up? And although every school is different, they're kind of relatively the same. So I'm gonna show you that, I'm gonna talk about that, and then we're also gonna talk about how you can start preparing for sorority recruitment right now, today, which, when I'm filming this, is May 12th. There are different types of sororities, but the type of sorority you traditionally hear of, um, at least in my knowledge, is a Panhellenic sorority. Your Kayo, your Tridel, your Kappa Kappa Gamma, your Kappa Delta, your 80 Pi, your Pi Phi, Beta Phi, your Alpha Phi, all those sororities. And then there's also multicultural and different types. But so if you decide you want to register for Panhellenic recruitment, your first step is that you are going to look up your school's Panhellenic website. And so if you go to Tech Like Me, you're gonna look up TTU Panhellenic and you're gonna find their website. On the website, it should have their application, what every sorority requires, what is required when you apply, all those types of things. And that is where you are going to find the information for everything you need to get applied and get um, going with the process of getting ready for recruitment. Next thing you want to do as soon as you finish applying is you want to start finding letters of rec. Also, on your school's Panhellenic website, you will be able to see what they require for letters of rec, how many you should get, if you need them emailed or mailed, how many for each sorority, if a sorority even wants them, all types of things. Um, I think on the Tech Panhellenic website, it shows kind of the requirements for letters of rec for every single house. Um, at least it was when I went through. I don't really know um, anymore. So that will tell you that. Now, how do we get letters of recommendation? I know it can be confusing. So at Tech, we just email letters of recommendation and the alums just do it for you. I think they have like a system. I don't even, I never even saw my letters of rec. They just handled that for me. I know at other schools you put together like a really pretty packet and you have to put all your letters of rec, your resume, maybe a headshot, all that kind of stuff. We don't do that. We're hundred percent virtual. So that's why I've never made a video on like packets and stuff because I have no idea. I didn't even do that. How do you get a letter of rec? What I did Step number one is I went on my Facebook and I also had my mom made a, make a Facebook post because she has more friends that are alums. That's what I said. Hi guys, as you may know, I'm rushing at Texas Tech this fall. I am looking for, uh, I am looking for letters of recommendation from alumni from the following sororities. If you or someone you know could write me one, I would appreciate it, appreciate it so much. Feel free to comment or DM me. And then I listed all the sororities I needed. I aim to get one for each of the 12 sororities and I believe that I did that and then I also basically just posted the same thing on my mom's Facebook. I ended up being able to find literally all of mine on there. However, if you can't, the other thing you want to do is pretty much every metroplex or group of cities will have a Panhellenic council. You can reach out to your local Panhellenic council. They can connect you to alums from specific sororities if you are struggling to find one within like your group of friends or your mom's groups of, group of friends. I say just err on the side of caution when it comes to letters of recommendation. Um, I get questions about if you really should do them, if it's just kind of like a waste of time. And honestly, I don't know. Every sorority really looks at letters of recommendation differently. Some sororities really value them. Some sororities really don't care. But either way, it can never hurt you. And you really won't ever know what sorority likes and what sorority doesn't because that most of the time is secret information to the sorority. And so it's always just better to be safe than sorry and just go ahead and try to get a letter of recommendation for everyone. The third thing that is really important when you are prepping for sorority recruitment that you want to start as early as possible is cleaning up your social medias. I know I talked about this last summer, but this is so crucial. Your social media can really make or break your recruitment experience, not because it's like, oh, you don't have the perfect preset. We don't like you. 
it's like if you're using foul language or you're dressed extremely inappropriately or talking inappropriately or if you're just being a really negative person or you're bullying somebody or anything like that that represents that sorority badly if you became a member of that sorority it rep represents the members that are already in that sorority poorly they don't really want somebody that's going to come in and make them look trashy or look like a bully or look like i don't know any other thing so it's it's kind of like you know it's a fine line between you know i'm being myself and you're you got to clean it up just think about you know would you want your kids to see that your grandma stuff like that okay the next thing that also has to do with social media is to make sure that your first and last names are on your social media and that your social medias are easy to find um i think we all kind of know your social media is going to be looked at mainly just to see what you're into Another thing is they also are going to check and make sure it's appropriate so you know we already covered that but it can be really hard to kind of see about somebody if you can't find their social media so be sure that your social media is easy to find the next one is kind of to do with social media but not completely and that is to be aware of dirty rushing so dirty rushing is when an active member is reaching out to a pnm before recruitment or during recruitment and talking about like oh my god you would love caparapa you have to go caparapa we want you so bad that is not okay you as the pnm will not get in trouble if that is exposed but that member and potentially that sorority would um it's just not a good look you don't want to be associated with dirty rushing um obviously a lot of girls that maybe are affected by dirty rushing might not know what dirty rushing is so that's kind of why i'm why i'm telling you about it just avoid it if they reach out to you be like oh my gosh thanks for reaching out i can't wait to go through re recruitment and leave it at that um just know that no sorority can promise you a bid during recruitment or before because that's not how the system works um so no matter what they're telling you anything can happen so just don't get too invested and i would just continue to go in with an open mind and that's the next thing is do not decide which sororities or what sorority you want to be in before you even go through recruitment because like I just said, you can tell a lot about someone's personalities on their Instagram, but there's so much to people that you have no idea based off their social medias and that is the same way for sororities. There's usually like 200 to 300 girls in each sorority and you might see like 30 on their Instagram and there's just no way you're going to get to know all of them you're not going to understand the ins and outs of each sorority just looking on their instagram or looking on one or two members instagrams don't start to decide who you like because first of all that just opens door for a lot of heartbreak when you actually get in because the system can be weird and things can happen and you know it's, every sorority has different um requirements of pnms before they let them in and so you might be so awesome and totally click with the sorority but maybe your gpa just doesn't match up to their requirement and that's just sucks but it's sometimes how it is so you know you just want to be open-minded there's nothing wrong with maybe looking through their instagrams and kind of like i don't know if you're bored and you're stalking them whatever but you gotta stay grounded and you gotta stay open-minded like it's gonna work out the way it's supposed to be and you're not gonna be able to predetermine that next you can start shopping for outfits um or not or you can just look through your closet and grab stuff i have an outfits idea video that i did last summer and i'm gonna do a new one this summer because i know there's always new trends um but i'll link it below but basically just wear outfits that represent your personality you can find out what outfit requirements your um recruitment requires on the panhellenic website for your school as well um but you just want to make sure that nothing is too booby too booty you want to feel fun and cute i wouldn't recommend wearing anything that like could have a wardrobe malfunction because you're constantly going to be messing with it and annoyed with it you just want to be comfortable and just have an outfit that you feel really cute and confident in and you're not gonna have to worry about it like this shirt i'm good to go i don't have to mess with it she's gonna stay exactly where she needs to be all day long next tip is i would recommend you watch my conversations tips video i know that's random but conversations during recruitment are crucial go watch that video because that that's all my best tips i could go on and on about conversations because it's so important my next tip is to make a list of everything you want out of your like dream friends or your dream friend group because that's most likely the things you're going to want to look for in the girls rushing you and then the house is rushing you those qualities and friends that you've loved and the qualities and friends you want because you get this opportunity to meet all these new friends 
be picky, be selective, go find the friends that make you the happiest, the active members, the sorority that makes you the happiest and that, you know, matches a lot of those things that you want in a friend because you get the opportunity to pick just as much as a sorority does. At the same time, I would also start to really think about things that you're really passionate about, things that really mean a lot to you and make kind of a mental list or maybe make a physical list of things that you definitely want to bring up during recruitment because these are things that you're really passionate about and you would love to find friends that have common interests as you or just things that you think makes you special that you want to make sure the sorority knows about you. Um, it's good to have those things kind of figured out ahead of time so you're not just having to like figure out right in the moment. Final tip I have for you guys as far as preparing for sorority recruitment really far in advance is to really think about why you want to be in a sorority and to really figure that out because that is going to really help you when you're trying to um, find that perfect sorority for you. So like, for example, I wanted to join a sorority because growing up, I was always on a cheer team. I was just used to having a big group of friends around me and a big group of teammates and, you know, a group of girls around me. And so coming into college, I really wanted to have that. I wanted that girl gang and like big girl group that, you know, we all have sim a similar interest and you know, that kind of thing. And I wanted um, the opportunity to make a lot of new friends and have that like group of girls that's always gonna have my back. And so that's why I came through recruitment and I was able to find the house that has girls so like-minded to me that always have my back and like I just have this big girl king and I just love it so much. And so I found the perfect house for me because I knew exactly what I was looking for in my sorority sisters and potential friends and what I wanted out of a house. And so I think thinking about all of those things and kind of figuring out exactly what you want will really, really make your decision a lot easier when you're actually going through the week because you're gonna know exactly what you're looking for. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I have a lot more sorority recruitment videos coming. I also have a lot again, from last summer that I'll have all linked in the description below. If you guys have any recru recruitment questions or any video requests about recruitment, comment them below or feel free to DM me them on Instagram. It'll be on the screen. But I love you guys so much and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.